Okay, this video is going to be about what's known as the method of iteration. And all you're doing is you're trying to find closed formulas for recurrence relations or recursive sequences. And you might run into something like this in a discrete math class or a computer science class. And again, all a recurrence relation is, it's just when you have a formula and to find new values, you have to use information about previous values. So probably the most common one of these, for example, is the Fibonacci sequence. In this case, we're going to use the recurrence relation m sub n equals 2 multiplied by m sub n minus 1 plus 1, where n is greater than or equal to 2, and m sub 1 equals 1. All you're trying to do, all you're trying to do is just trying to spot a formula and then use induction to prove it. That's all we're really doing. That's all this method of iteration is. Try to spot a formula and then justify it. Now be careful. You can't always find nice closed formulas for recurrence uh, relations. So just be aware of that. Okay, so we know that m sub 1 equals 1. That's given to us. m sub 2, it says we take 2 and we multiply that by, in this case, m sub 1 plus 1. Well, again, m sub 1 is equal to 1, so we would have 2 multiplied by 1 plus 1, and 2 multiplied by 1 plus 1, that's 3, but I'm going to write this as 2 plus 1. This is something important. Oftentimes, you don't simplify. Don't simplify. A lot of times, if you simplify, you're not going to spot the pattern. So m sub 3. That's going to be 2 multiplied by m sub 2 plus 1. Well, that's 2 multiplied by what we had previously, which was 2 plus 1. And again, according to the formula, we still have to add 1. I'm going to distribute, but again, I'm going to keep powers of 2. So 2 times 2 is 2 squared. 2 multiplied by 1 would be 2 to the first. And then I have plus 1 left over. Let's do one more. m sub 4, that's going to be 2 multiplied by what we had previously. 2 squared plus 2 plus 1 plus 1. So 2 times 2 squared, that's 2 to the third. Uh, 2 multiplied by 2 is going to be 2 squared. If we distribute again, we're going to get a 2 to the first power. And again, plus 1. So I think you can probably guess the pattern by now. It looks like whatever the, uh, uh, the subscript here is, we end up getting powers of 2. We end up adding up powers of 2 that uh, stop at 1 less. So my guess, and again, it's just a guess at this point, is that m, should, m sub n should equal 2 raised to the n minus 1. Again, it should stop at, uh, you know, one, 1 smaller. Plus 2 raised to the n minus 2 plus dot, dot, dot. Eventually, we would get down to 2 squared, 2 to the first, plus 1. Okay, so that's going to be my guess. Now, okay, so this is, uh, you know, a closed formula in a sense. Um, but what I want to do is try to make it even more compact. So that's going to be my goal. And you may recall this formula. Maybe you've seen this one. You've probably seen it somewhere at some point in your life, maybe in calculus. If you have 1 plus x to the first plus x squared plus dot, 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 up to x to the power of n, you can rewrite that more compactly by x to the n plus 1 minus 1 over x minus 1. You may have seen this formula when you deal with uh, uh, geometric sequences. Okay, so I can use that now because, well, what do we have? We've got 1 plus 2 to the first plus 2 squared plus dot dot dot. Our formula goes up to the power of n minus 1. So according to this formula, it says whatever you know, the highest power is, add 1 to it. So in this case, we would have 2 raised to the power of n. And then you subtract 1, and then our x value, again, is just equal to 2. So we would have 2 minus 1. 2 to the n minus 1 over 2 minus 1 just reduces to 2 to the n minus 1. So again, my guess is that m sub n should equal 2 to the n minus 1. And again, it's still just a guess at this point. We haven't really, you know, we, proof by example doesn't, doesn't cut it. We've got to come up with something a little bit better. Okay, so now let's just simply prove it using induction. So now we're going to use induction to prove it. So notice uh, our, our base case. Notice when n equals 1, 
When n equals 1, it says m sub 1 should equal 2 raised to the power of 1 minus 1. Well, that's 2 minus 1, which is 1. And that agrees. That was what our, that's what our, uh, our, our definition said. It said m sub 1 should equal 1. So hey, uh, uh, it definitely works when n equals 1. Our, our formula is correct. So now we're going to assume that the formula is correct for some positive integer for some positive integer k. So we're assuming that m sub k equals 2 to the k minus 1 holds. So now what we have to do is we have to show that the next step also holds. So m sub k plus 1, that should equal 2 to the k plus 1 minus 1. This is now what we have to justify. And if we can justify this, this induction step, then now we're finished. And, and we will have shown that our formula is correct. So according to our original formula, it said that m sub k plus 1, well, that would be 2 multiplied by m sub k plus 1. So now, again, I'm just using the original definition. right? I'm just using the definition that we started with here. Instead of n, we're using k. OK, so but we know by assumption that our m sub k should equal 2 to the k minus 1. Well, if we simplify this now, if we distribute, we'll have 2 multiplied by 2 to the k, which is going to be 2 to the k plus 1. If we distribute, we'll have negative 2 plus 1. And that gives us that m sub k plus 1. That equals 2 to the k plus 1 minus 1. And proof complete. We've now shown that this formula holds using our uh, uh, assumption here. And now by induction, we've shown that, so now we've proven, we've proved this formula that m sub n equals 2 to the n minus 1. So la ti da no big deal. So if you want to see another one of these examples, please let me know, because I have one that's certainly a little bit more complicated. Um, I thought it would make more sense, though, to do it in two videos so you're not overwhelmed in case you want to see another one. But again, all you're doing with this stuff is just, uh, it's just trying to spot a pattern and just using induction. That's really all it comes down to.